Okay. I need to go and uh, get the trash. I put the trash out at 8 p.m. and they come and pick it up somewhere between 9 or 8 and 9 or whatever. You know, I never noticed my, um, what you call it, my arrow down there. Uh, like the little bubble down at the bottom of the map that shows where you are. Maybe I did and I just like actually didn't put it together that that was a feature. Anyway, uh, so our trash is kind of confusing because they don't pick them up for two days and you'd think, oh, those two days are the weekend, but it's, um, it's Friday and Saturday, not Saturday, Sunday. So it's weird because we'll, like, we'll put it out on Friday thinking, you know, it's a weekday uh, and they won't pick it up and then we won't put it out on Sunday because we think... It's a weekend, and they, they'll pass us by. But at some point, Trash Man came and Maybe that's what that banging was earlier. They were, like, th slamming the can back on the ground. Anyway, I think, uh... I need to go right about here. So I watched, um... Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them with Sapphire today. Pretty good movie. I think um, if you like the Harry Potter universe, uh, you'll definitely get a kick out of that. I think it was a good movie. I wasn't expecting uh, fucking <laughs> uh, Johnny Depp to show up. I was not expecting that. Uh, let's put on the helmet. Yeah. I won't tell you why Johnny Depp shows up, because I guess that's a, a spoiler, but he's in the movie. It's weird. I was like, is that Johnny Depp? And I had to look it up. I was like, yeah, that is Johnny Depp. What the fuck? Okay, so we get, um, help our Goron fella out in a fight. I wonder if I could sneak attack this thing. Oh no, it's a cutscene. Yeah. yeah, someone please help me. This Goron's voice reminds me of a fucking Ninja Turtle. He sounds like Leonardo. He also has the fucking, the hard shell on his back, so maybe it's... Actually... Hey guys, what's going on? Picking on a Goron? Sounds cool, brah! Yeek! Yeah, let's let's leave this nerd alone. Haha. <laughs> Fucking nerd. <clears throat> You're the one with a weapon. Yeah, stand right there. Don't move. He did that himself. He did it himself, it wasn't me. That was me, though. 
brutal. Why do they have drill spears? Ah, fuck! He had a drill spear. I probably could have gotten one of those. Ah, that's fine. Wow, you're crazy strong, Goro. Thanks for helping me. Um, so... You may or may not remember that fucking quest I went on to find a drill shaft in that rock over there. That fucking Goron child who hangs out at the hot springs and he bubbles up um, a, a puzzle or information. Basically he goes, like, find this crazy cool stick. It's, it's pretty awesome. If you find it, it's, it's near the Bridge of Elden or whatever. And that's the Bridge of Elden. It's way the fuck over here. On that mountain. It's nowhere near. Also, um, apparently I was using these minecarts wrong. Is there one on this side? Or am I going to have to go all the way back to sort of make a point? Ah, oh boy. Fuck it, just run past these guys. Uh. Okay, so these things. These, uh, these minecarts. I was using them wrong. There's the fucking Goron child I was talking about. Who garbles up. He's bubbling up. Shit. So. To me. This looks like the front. Of the cart. And you can put this cart on any way you want. Like you can put it on this way. And it'll, um. Oh, excuse me. And it'll go on there. And I was stasising it and hitting it to move it. But apparently, that's not how it works. You put it on this way, the other direction, and you put a bomb in there. And you know, you detonate it. And it moves. Obviously. Obviously how this is how it works. Anyway, that is actually really cool. <laughs> but um the design on that is kind of fucked because I thought it was backwards. I thought it was it was the backwards way, so. I don't know. It is a cool thing now that I know how it actually works and I don't have to use durability on my weapons to go from A to B on this fucking mountain. Anyway, let's stop sidetracking and talking about random shit and uh, do this. Whew. Thanks for saving me, brother. I would have been in real trouble if you hadn't showed up when you did, Goro. Still no sign of boss, eh? He's not coming. Huh? Not coming, but why, Goro? His back hurts. After we went through all the trouble to get them, the painkillers didn't even end up working, Goro. Well, if boss can't help, there's nothing else we can do. I suppose I'll just have to head back now. Wait a minute. Huh? You're not going back? But why, Goro? I want to board Rodania. That's not how physics works. No, no, you... It's rocket propelled that has the cage on it, so the the explosion launches. If it's uh, obviously how it works, I can see how you would think it works the other way for sure. I don't feel bad about um, thinking it worked with stasis because honestly, I didn't had no idea. The cage looks like a ramming cage, like on the front of a fucking train. Anyway, I guess the lantern was maybe a hint at the front being the front, but whatever. What? You're gonna try to board that divine beast? Who do you think you are? Lord Daruk? It's dangerous in there, Goro. Though I guess if you weakened it first, it might be possible. But why risk it? 
I'm the hero. Hmm, well, I don't really get it, but I'm sure you have your reasons, Goro. Problem is, good old boss raised the Bridge of Elden to make sure that the Divine Beast couldn't get over here. In order to get to where Rudani is, we'll have to find a way to get the Bridge of Elden back down, Goro. Boss would normally use the cannon to lower it. Ugh, we can't get across unless we figure something out. If Boss can't come down here, then he can't use the cannon to lower the bridge. That means we're out of luck, Goro. Oh, it occurs to me that you know how to use the cannons, don't you, Goro? Yeah, I use one to rescue you from your cowering cave. Maybe we can get across after all. So let's just do what I do to help Boss sometimes. That means I'm going to be the cannonball. And you'll launch me, Goro. Are you sure? I've got Daruk's protection, Goro. My ancestors' help can't possibly fail me. That means I can smash into anything and it won't hurt one bit, Goro. My ancestor Daruk was a big deal, Goro. That's what Boss says. So it's just gotta be true. And I can use Daruk's protection just like Daruk could. That means there's no need to worry, Goro. So I know that Goron say Goro after they talk, but... In the voice, the voice, the voice actor, the voice acting I've heard so far from this guy and also Daruk, they never said Goro after they're talking. From what I can remember, so if we run into any more voice acting with Daruk or this guy, listen to see if they ever say Goro like a fucking tick. So rest easy, got it. Well, go on then. Take aim at the Bridge of Elden and fire away, Goro. Just, you know, be kind of gentle about it. Oh! Um, I guess I'll use the Master Sword. Ah. There you go. Bada boom! Not that simple, Goro. <laughs> nice sound effect. Hit, ha, huh. We did it. See that, Goro? If we put our heads together, anything is possible. The power I got from my ancestor, Daruk's protection. It really is something else, isn't it? Anyhow, I guess my time as a cannonball isn't over just yet, Goro. So let's get a move on and cross that bridge, brother. I'm still puzzled as to why there's a bunch of plates with circles on them. Targets. It bothers me. And he totally looks like a fucking Ninja Turtle with his back like that. Just the, the shell back. Uh oh. What? Oh no. I wonder how much of a pain these things are actually going to be. Oh, yikes! A sentry is always a nuisance, no matter where it is or how many there there are. If one finds you, Rodania will go nuts, which will cause Death Mountain to erupt, Goro. I always get spotted, and then magma bombs come raising down one after another. If Boss were here, he'd swat those magma bombs away like they were nothing and force his way up. I don't think he'd be able to do that, Goro. Now I don't want to cause you any trouble. Hmm... Maybe the best idea is for you to give me a signal to let me know I should stop and when I can move forward. Let's hurry and decide what the signal will be, Goro. Um, got any ideas? <laughs> a wink! A wink? Um... Yeah, I don't think I'd be able to see that far from the dis- From way off in the distance, Goro. Try to think of something better. 
What should the signal be? You got any ideas? Uh, mind powers. Mind powers? What? You mean like real life telepathy? I didn't know you Hylians could do that sort of thing these days. Are you transmitting yet, Goro? What the? I'm not receiving anything over here. Let's hurry and decide what the signal will be, Goro. Now, got any ideas? A whistle. A whistle? Ah, that's a great idea, Goro. When I hear your whistle, I'll, I'll either stop in my tracks or start moving forward. I like it. Even though it's kind of like calling a horse, Goro. Okay, then. I'm calling on you and your whistles to make sure I'm not spotted by those awful sentries. Oh. Um... Let's see how this works. <laughs> he stay, stands at attention. Okay. okay. <gasps> and stop. Okay. All right, first obstacle. I'm actually curious to see what happens if he gets spotted, so I might let him get spotted here. If he doesn't, catch up to me in time. Hee <laughs> hee! <laughs> okay, well, I guess we'll just keep moving forward then. B, you know, Bo. Gonna go ahead and grab some of these. So these don't count as guardians. Okay. Oh! Thousand hit points, huh? You gotta hear me? Can you get around these rocks? I suppose I have to move him for you. He is happy. Hey, come here. I don't want to use stamina. Or I don't want to use stasis. And durability on my weapons. Right. Oh! <laughs> yep. yep. Alright, so we got a cannon. Jeez. <laughs> Running is fun. What is danger? <laughs> Hee -hee. I'm assuming the feet is on fire. <laughs> the feet are on fire, so you can't climb the legs. But I, honestly, I don't think you can climb any of the... Uh, what you call it? The Divine Beasts. All of them are sort of made of the Sheikah material that you can't climb. Look at this dude's abs. We did it, Goro. If we can keep this up, we should be able to corner Redania. This is pretty cool. Hee hee! He is... jolly. Yeah.
Got him. Metal on all of you out there wish Prince Sidon would say that to you. Oh, seriously? Oh, fuck. Get moving, you know, Bo. We got a blood moon on our hands. Not the best time for this shit to show up. Wait up. I'm here. Just fucking move. Oh, yeah, I'm not fucking doing this. I'll let you be the bait. Maybe he has that carefree attitude from hitting his face against rocks out of a cannon. You, you might be right. He might be uh, constantly in a daze from getting his shit smashed on the side of a mountain. So yeah, the Master Sword does not glow during a... You be my... Bait. Okay. Oh my fucking... Okay. Maybe a new fanfic. <laughs> Response to that side on comment earlier. Gora. Also, I will remember that I fucking can get smacked by a moblin while hanging on the edge. Kind of thought I was safe there. We did it. Direct kit, Goro. Thanks to Daruk's protection, that didn't hurt me one bit, Goro. My ancestor came through for me. If we keep weakening it, <laughs> it like this, we should be able to get inside. Don't let up, brother. Goro.
That did a thousand damage, though? Close. I said, no, I'm safe here. Got him. Easy Goron, he's fine. Oh, there goes that Gemerald. It's fine, I guess I'll take the Flint and the Amber. Oh, what's this rock doing here? bomb these dudes like oh not like that uh drop the bomb out of the wind like that yeah i'm a bomber plane oh, that didn't work Got him. That's cool. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it, but that is cool. Coming. Yep. Coming. In the distance, Prince Sidon winces. Oh. Oh, there's a floating gear. <laughs> There's a floating screw, too, actually. Ah. So I'll take that. Kind of looks like a glitch that these things are floating. It's intentional. It was deliberate. Gotcha. Okay, so... Oh, maybe I'm supposed to take them out of these metal boxes? I don't know, maybe there's multiple ways to do it. Well, that one's not coming back. Let's try setting it down instead of throwing it off the fucking cliff. really, really want to crush those guys. Can I save? And load. A 
Does it take us back all the way here? I guess I don't have to re-kill everything, but... Oh my fucking god. Yeah, so you can't use that glitch here because um, it confuses the fuck out of Yonobo. Wait, that's the stopping one. Okay, we'll try this metal box thing one more time. We'll be careful about it. For fuck's sake! For fuck's sake! Okay. Do they really not want you to use these things or something? That why they make this area so sort of janky? So everything slides off? Okay. Oh god, I wish the camera would fucking zoom somewhere else above Link. I... I, I mean, I got him. Take the moblin guts. Of course, you couldn't hear me. Uh, I didn't notice his little uh, Goron icon on the map down there. Ready for it. Craw! I know he made a bird noise. Oh! The Shadow Forest. I forgot to go there. <laughs> I knew there was something. I knew there was something. There were like three things I wanted to show you guys and that was one of them. I forgot about that. Like, I was- it just occurred to me, I was like... This kind of reminds me of the fucking, um... Or because the Death Mountain is near the Korok Forest and the fucking, what you call it, the, uh... The forest above... Or to the north. <laughs> Gotta stop everything! Goro! You really put a licking on that thing, Link! Also having that light blue um, scarf or whatever. 
makes him reminds me of fucking Leonardo all the more. Travel gate registered map. Hey, little guy. Long time no see. Okay. I always knew you'd come back. You know, I never stopped believing in you. He's not saying Goro. You're here to take control of over Thania back from Ganon, eh? You're gonna need a map that shows the guts of this place. Hmm. You can grab the info from the guidance zone over there. Now get a move on. Now when he says over there to Link, what the fuck does Link is like, what do you mean by over there? Over there? It's over there? What are you talking about? Oh. Oh. Oh, speaking of dark, I, like I was just talking about forgetting to show you guys the forest. Uh, so yeah, it looks like temperature is okay in here. And Master Sword is glowy. Oh, we don't need to be using the ancient bow. Chest. Why the fuck would I want that? I could use it as a torch, maybe? I guess I'm gonna need one, honestly. Yeah. It is better than the spear. Nice arrows. A torch. Just a regular old torch. Might actually use that instead of the club. Torch is a little more reliable, it stays lit. It's interesting, you can see Link's eyes in the dark. His anime, his animu eyes. Um, and the blue flame doesn't light him up. It lights everything else up, not him though. And the, I guess it doesn't really light the weapons that much? Or at all? So yeah, I guess I'll show you the um, the forest that I went through after I do this. I can't see a thing. Well, I sure hope the whole dungeon isn't like this. There are four terminals remaining. That's the way. So
Was I supposed to get the map already? Oh, duh. Here we go. Again. Yeah, it's not doing anything. It's certainly not annoying. Yeah, I'll open those chests once I find a torch. It's fine. Okay. Um. Stilling map of Divine Beast. Uh, this also has a tilting mechanic into it. See, th I think the tilting mechanic only... It only really worked for the, the bird. I don't understand why a camel n needs to rotate or this gecko thing needs to rotate either. The terminals that control Rosania are noted by the glowing points on your map. To take back Rosania, you'll need to activate all of the terminals. You got this, little guy. Oh, thank God. That means I can get rid of this fucking torch. Hopefully my weapons are still back there. Oh. There's no way I would have seen that. This probably isn't what I'm supposed to do. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Good job, Link. You did it. There are three terminals remaining. All right, let's get moving. <laughs> That's how camels work, didn't you know? Yeah, you, you tilt their insides.
Um. Right, there was a thing up there I didn't see. Noise. Noise. Oh. Where did you go? What's that doing there? Uh huh. Right, right, of course. I don't get it. Uh, that's another terminal. Let's try tilting this thing. Uh. Ah, there we go. Oh. No, oh, it's fine. Oh, fine. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit, I never thought of that. You talk about using the fireproof suit to just go through the fire. <laughs> I mean, there has to be a way to get through there. I just, I didn't see the actual solution. Let's touch you back over. Yeah, what the fuck is he doing? He's just like on his side in the lava. This makes no sense. Why would he need to do this? Okay. Um... I see the doors close whenever he tilted on his side. Uh... This is cool, don't get me wrong, but um, it just doesn't make sense as a mechanic for this machine. I guess I need bows. hot outside. Good thing I have this stuff on. Oh. <sighs> so what happens when you tilt this thing? This thing leads all the way. Okay. Um.
I need to remember to take a picture of the boss here. If I'm fighting it and I and I don't fucking um, take a picture of the boss, please remind me. Because I still don't have a picture of the um, first two. Apparently I can buy them, but uh, I bought all the ones that were available to me and oh, there's a ball here. So I see this torch opens up this thing. Okay, so I need to get blue flame up here somehow. Well, no, I can't. I guess I have to do that. I need my torch. Whoops. Here, I thought I didn't need it anymore. Did this torch light because of the heat? Actually, uh, I'm gonna drop it... ...in this room. That way it doesn't uh, get lost. Okay, so... We're gonna marathon man this. Later, Scient. Thanks for coming. on my back. Just one terminal remaining. Just one more. Jeez, blowing through this. This is a lot. I'm doing this a lot easier than I was. Um, do I need this. I wonder if I need this. I'm going to take it with me, just in case. But I didn't need that. Oh, fuck. Okay, so there's one more terminal. Uh, 
Um... There it is. Nice. That was the last terminal. Now go ahead and start up the main control. Yeah. A new glowing mark on your map. You're going to need to make your way over to that. Stay focused, little guy. All right, so now we're going to turn on the treasure chest sensor. And this is where I'm guessing the real challenge of the dungeon is, because that wasn't too hard, honestly. Yeah, I figured. very beginning. I guess I just didn't turn around. Okay, so... It was directly below me or above me? This is definitely not what I'm supposed to do. But here I go. I'm doing it anyway. Okay, so... So it's in here. Okay. I don't know if there's a way in there from out here. If there is, it's not immediately apparent. This this seems to be totally optional too, so this is probably Okay, so... No, 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 whoa, I didn't mean to do that, but here we go, I guess. Hmm. 
Maybe underneath? Oh, here we go. How the fuck do I open that up, though? Yeah, it's a treasure chest. Um... Well, I need to activate something. Yeah, I know where it is. So... I wonder if that ball respawned. Because that opened up from the switch. I wonder if it being there... Has that door open. I guess I'm going to have to do this and see if the ball respawns or something. Ball didn't come back. Uh, I mean, that is cool. at a loss here. I know what I need to open, but I don't see... I didn't see an immediate answer switch to open it. There it is. Doesn't open when it's on its side. Oh, there's a hole in the top there, maybe. Okay, so if I need to drop from above it... There's a hole... there. Okay, so the chest is right below me. On that bottom leg. There it is. Gotcha. Wow, 100 rupees. I want my other weapon back.
Alright. I left my weapon in here so it wouldn't disappear. And wouldn't you know it. It's gone. Well. And I don't have the torch. Super. Let's get up top, I guess. Okay, I gotta remember to take a picture. Sacks. Fire blight, get him. Watch yourself now. That ugly pain in the crack is dead and candy for me. Pain got the best of me a hundred years ago. Good luck, little guy. I'll avenge you. This guy's big. Also. Oh, I see. That's fine. Wow. Now's your chance. To what? We got Ow. That flaming ball is dangerous. Okay, that starts. Where'd he go? I'm glad I have arrows. Get fucked. Maybe it's because I'm super powered now with these weapons and armor and all this shit. Or maybe this guy was just easy. I don't know. It's probably the first thing. 
Got a picture of him though. Didn't forget. I, I honestly forgot again about the cart, about the heart container. I even mentioned it earlier. I was like, oh yeah, get a heart container for this. I guess this is a rare opportunity, honestly, because you can't really take a picture of a heart container outside of uh, beating a dungeon. Yeah, let's get it perfect. Perfect. Nice. Once you activate the main control unit, we'll not be able to re-enter the interior of the Divine Beast. No. Actually. Um... Okay, nothing's beeping. I was just making sure I'd have all the treasure chests. I definitely think that the lip sync is to Japanese. Power of mine called Daruk's protection. It's no good to me now that I'm a spirit, but it might be useful for you. Here it comes. moment for the power of protection from the depths of my soul now lives inside you good luck little guy and give my regards to the princess he's a pal he's a good friend good old pal Here we go. Time for the iguana to make the trek. See, I can imagine this thing actually making its way to the top of a mountain, so... It's not like the fucking camel or the elephant making its way to the top of a mountain somehow. Basically already pr primed and ready. <laughs> A 
It's four. Well, that ought to do it. Where is that here? Now we just gotta wait for the perfect shot. Once Link is in the castle, Luthania will unleash an epic blast. Ganon won't know what hit him. My rule looks pretty good from up here. Even after a hundred years. If the old rolling grounds sure are a sight for sore eyes. I wonder how the Moros fared after the Great Calamity. I sure hope everyone down there is still going strong after every... Huh? Strong indeed. Ha! Ghost pal. Saw a ghost. Hmm. Protective power containing the perfect defense of the champion Daruk. It will automatically protect you from all manner of attacks as long as you're holding ZL. Seriously? Like any time I'm pressing the shield button? Oh fuck. Pressure. Hey there, it's hot out here again. By the way, mister, I think you came at a good time. Ever since that lizard monster lurking on Death Mountain was tamed, it's safe again. That means you could take it easy. Then again, it may be safe, but it's still pretty darn hot. Hey brother, thanks so much for appeasing Redania, Goro. Never fucking said it once. I don't exactly know what you were doing in Redania, but... Well, it seems to have calmed down, Goro. You know, while I was up there, I could have sworn I saw Lord Red Daruk standing on top of Redania. I wonder, was that his ghost? I don't know how to explain it, but somehow I feel a lot braver now, Goro. Oh, that's right! I talked to Boss about you, and he said to bring you to him. An order from boss can't be refused. Move it, Goro. <laughs> Man, I honestly wish I got a rolling power up instead of a. Uh... Seriously, just all the time, huh? Anytime I'm holding shield. Okay. I actually forgot that, um... Hang on. I forgot that there's a monument above Goron City. It's kind of hard to remember and see all the time because it's, like, literally towering and it's always in the shadow of the sun. So you can't really see... Or it's in the shadow of the mountain. Get up there, Link. Okay. So, probably from the top of this rock is the best view. I'm gonna take a picture of the monument.
see, it's you know, there's there's Daruk. Um, let's go and talk to the boss. Foist. I remember there being... Oh, fuck. In the front of this shop, there was a silver rupee in this thing. I guess it didn't come back. There's actually two. One on this one... I guess it's 20 rupees. That <laughs> used to hurt me. Holy hotness. Savak, the daytime sure is scorching here. In any case, do you have some amber? I need lots of it. Bring me 10 of them and I'll buy them for more than a shop would pay. Well, I have 98. Willpower alone is not going to save you from this heat. In any case, do you have any 10... Do you have 10 pieces of amber? If so, would you sell them? Yes, 10 pieces of amber. Sell them to the shop and you'll get 300. Or sell them to me for 500. I'll sell! Like so, it was a huge help. Thanks, here you go. 500 rupees. For 10 amber, that's pretty damn good. I need to procure other jewels too, so keep bringing me what you find. Bring me 10 at a time, got it? As for what kind of jewels I want to buy, well, that's likely to change every once in a while. I can't believe this heat. By the way, do you have ten topazes? Yeah, no thanks. I need those for my amiibo armor. What did boss want, Goro? You should ask him directly. Mm, hey, it's you! You know what told me everything. You really are something else, brother, you know that? Can't believe you conquered Redania. Color me impressed. A good grief. Did you have to do it when my back pain went away? I was already in raring to go at Redania myself. Now you gotta made it look like I was just fibbing about my back pain this whole time. Imagine that. Me. <laughs> oh, and I'm also happy to see Yenobo finally got his act together. I know that's your doing as well. But enough back padding and other such nonsense. Take a look at this. Divine Beast of Aradonia has calmed down and returned to his peaceful ways. Now we can get back to digging for ore around Death Mountain. All right, I've still got to thank you, brother. There's some treasure in my house. Grab it. Keep it. It's yours. It's a sharp blade that Daruk himself once wielded. I'm sure you'll be able to make good use of it. You know, that's going to work because uh, I'm missing a weapon slot now. However... Well, as a Hylian, you probably already know this, but apparently a hundred years ago, the Hylian champion had a legendary blade, the sword that seals the darkness. That said, you got a rather fine blade already, don't you? Come to think of it, you look just like the Hylian champion who fought the Calamity alongside Daruk. <laughs> oh, it's you! Boy, Redonia has finally calmed down and returned to his peaceful ways. There's some treasure in my house. Grab it. Keep it. It's yours. So I guess they just mentioned the Master Sword just in case you don't have it. And, um... Oh, duh. Right in this fucking throne. Whoa, fuck! That's gonna be good against the fucking, um... The, the taluses. Two-handed... This isn't very sharp, though, is it? Two-handed weapon was once wielded by the Goron champion, Daruk. Daruk made swinging it around look easy, but Hylian would need an immense amount of strength. I 
I mean, I guess it has a blade to it. Like the very edge, maybe? I guess more blade than a cobble crusher. It's pretty damn good. I think it's a good replacement for the spear I dropped. That's fine. That'll be my mining thing. So. So, so, so. Um... Oh, right, I want to check out the blacksmith in this area. Because usually he's, like, uh, not interested in anything I have to say. Maybe he's the one that'll reforge the, the thing. So you're the one to inherit the boulder breaker, eh? I wonder if a pipsqueak like you can handle Daruk's sword. Well, whatever, it is what it is. If you lose or break the boulder breaker and you want me to make another one, just bring a cobble crusher. Five pieces of flint and a diamond. Now I can see myself replacing that and keeping this because this thing is going to be great for killing the stone taluses and uh, and uh, fucking for a diamond. I have so many diamonds. I have 40 diamonds. I think I can spare a, a diamond and five flint. And if I'm not mistaken. Mistaken. A cobble crusher. Hang on, what the fuck is this? This is just a seat? I think like a frog came out of there and immediately burned up. Remember a cobble crusher being next to a shop? At the top of a hill, so maybe... This thing? Yeah, right here. So I'm gonna mark this. With that. I only have 15 stamps left. Jesus. But yeah, I can just grab one of these. Five flint and a diamond. And I get another one. A replacement. That's awesome. Okay, so... Now I'm gonna show you guys, um... The shrine here. Oh, by the way, at the very bottom left, it says error. And I think that's usually where the temper temperature gauge is. So, actually, we'll test that. We'll teleport on over here and we'll see if that's still in the, the map. Now we got all four of the little, uh, animals, the divine beasts. So this is the, uh, dark forest I was talking about. And I did this off stream. This entire forest is, um, pitch black like this. There's a Hinox. And, um, what I did for a good bit is I took a regular arrow not a regular arrow. Oh my god. I took a fire arrow and powered it up and that lit the way for a good deal. I mean, I might as well fight this Hinox. Why not, right?
Yeah, so this Hinox was uh, holding... Um, the, the orb I needed to unlock the thing. Is there something I could drop? So this place, yeah, it sucks. It's not a fun thing, and I don't think it would, it would have been a super great thing to stream, really, because most of it would have been me doing this. Because uh, I could use a torch. It's basically me going around lighting torches, but it's just all dark, and you can't see a fucking thing. And even though I did the shrine and the quest, the forest didn't, like, light back up. So it's always like this. And, um... I guess this is where the, um, thing was. Here's a torch. Yeah, but basically it was me running from torch to torch and lighting them with a... Yeah, with a torch. You're going from statue to statue. And the puzzle was, I guess, the statues point at the next statue. So it was leading you through the forest. Anyway, it had a bunch of, like, like luminescent items, like uh, luminous stones or uh, the, sh the mushrooms, the glowing mushrooms. I can't remember which one, what they're called off the top of my head, but... Yeah, there's just there wasn't much to it, so you didn't you didn't really miss much because it would just basically think about the beginning of the shrine uh, for Redania, and that's basically what this place was. It was just all pitch fucking black. And just yeah, this wow, what a great stream this is. But anyway, um, it's going to be my default weapon. Give me that. This. Didn't realize I had three of them. Uh, what am I going to do now? Hmm. I want to just go randomly hunting shrines. I could look for some memories. The only memory I know of... Let's take a look. Let's delete some useless things here. I need this request. There's a couple of quests I could do. Uh, so, oh yeah, I took a picture of this. This is a, um, <laughs> this was a Lizolthos I found on the Hebra, in the Hebra Mountains. It spawned in T-Pose in camouflage this was off stream so i took a picture of it just to, it's that's I, I found this you know how they're just hiding camouflage laying on their stomachs this one spawned in t-pose like that but it was in camouflage mode and this was a fucking swift violet that was hanging off a mountain while i was looking for swift violets for upgrades and i ran into one of these dudes with the the style horse which I need the picture of for quest so let's see here let's 
Let's just turn in a couple of these quests, because I know I have what I need for some of them. Let's just get rid of them. Get them off the map. So I'm probably going to grind for the parts I need, um, the lino parts for the barbarian armor, off stream. Um, I might go searching for the last few shrines off stream as well. Cold is it here? Really cold. Okay. Um. I can only hear the trees I'm next to. Just freaked me out. I was like, why is this sh tree only make the only one making noise? Beetle, what are you doing out the cold? Hey, welcome! Huh? Could that be? That's an energetic rhino beetle. It's a rare beetle you almost never see. Please, would you please consider giving me the energetic rhino beetle to beetle? Not for free, mind you. How about I trade you a hearty elixir for it? You know the elixir when you mix a hardy lizard with some monster parts? Sorry, but no. Really? But this is such a good deal, and that beetle really wants to be with me. I just don't understand your thought process here. Maybe I'll sneak into his inventory and replace it with a common beetle when he's not looking. You won't know the difference. Now I'll hire someone to do it for me. No need to get my hands dirty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're still here? I thought you left. Oh, well, let me know if you change your mind. Anyway, back to business. What are you looking for? Wow. Beetle got fucking dark. I must have bought this stuff from him at some point. Uh, bye. So who am I turn this quest into you? What will I do? Mushroom, rice, salt. How goes it? Did you find the style horse? Last I'd heard, it supposedly wanders around north to Bantha no, Snowfield, near the weird ruins to the east. Yon. North Tabantha Snowfields. To the east? Is that what you said? Near the weird ruins to the east. Really? Like it wanders around here? Maybe at night time. Huh. Anyway. I guess they wander around there. I guess I did have a few chasing her up. Chasing me on the horseback. What? This is a bony... The bony horse! <laughs> the style horse! It's a monster! Sorry, this is gonna haunt my dreams for weeks. But the picture is still amazing. Yep, that's... The that picture's all I need. Oh, thank you. This is a great picture. It'll be perfect inspiration for the article I'm going to write. Here's your reward, just as I promised. Thanks. We get a chance to work together again in the future. I like it that these recipes are just, like, hanging up.
Have some raw meat. Take the meat. <laughs> Is it trying to get to the meat when it can't decide how to do it? Is there too much? Does it keep changing its mind? There, I'll leave one. <laughs> it's like a dog surrounded by toys. It can't decide which one to... I'm sorry? You waited too long. That's too cold. Okay, it won't eat icy meat. Sure, let me just do that. I just waste that. Um, what about an apple? Would you eat an apple? Okay, they're not picky. They're omnivores. Seeing if I can actually befriend the because I keep seeing the fucking pop up from the game, right? And the game keeps telling me that the dog will lead me to treasure nearby, but I've yet to see that happen. That didn't last long. Well, I think they actually just show you a treasure chest that's sort of buried underground. I could just do this with Magnesis, though, couldn't I? I don't know. They don't really follow you f too far from the thing. Anyway, what's the next mission? Curry for what ails you. I do have that. I do have curry. I keep forgetting that there's not a shrine next to that. Or not super nearby. You gotta glide way into it. You're sure that it light? What's that? I got your hands on some Goron Spice. Can you show it to me? That's Goron Spice, all right. Hey, can I ask you to part with that Goron Spice for, say, 50 rupees? It's all yours. Thank you. With Goron Spice and Hylian Rice, I'll be able to make some curry rice to warm my soul. Here, your 50 rupees. If you come across any more Goron Spice, please bring it to me. Next time I'll trade you some Hylian rice for it. 
you have other ingredients to go on spice and highly in rice, you can make all the kinds of different curry rice dishes. Try it next time you have some spare ingredients. Yeah, I think I did that already. Gourmet meat curry, yeah. I used meat and rice and curry. It's pretty good stuff. Anyway. Eat the heroin. Alright, this is the thing to get the, um, the sand boots. Show a picture of the 8th statue's torso. You've heard that there's someone well acquainted with the seven heroines legend in Gerudo Town. Let's do that. Might as well. Oh, and while we're here in the desert, uh, what's his face? Uh, Kilton. Kilton will have uh, new stuff for me. This must be one of the goddess statues. The smell. Is it a Lionel or perhaps? Ah! Oh, it's just you. Good evening. Can I help you with anything? Uh, spin some on. Da da da! I've done it. I've developed an unprecedented piece of monster gear. I can't believe I was able to pull this off. I'm actually a bit terrified of myself right now. <clears throat> I present to you the ultimate in monster camouflage. I call it the Dark Series. Wear this and you will become a monster yourself. I hope you like being hunted for your organs. Or you could just, you know, think of it as a costume. Oh yes, and when night falls, you might just be able to move a bit, little bit faster. Not sure how it turned out that way, but I'm not complaining. The current pound is 237. Would you like to buy? So, ba 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 ba. Yeah, you can get the Dark Link outfit once you defeat all four, um, all four beasts. So I need basically four thousand rupees. See if we got stuff to exchange. Four thousand, huh? Jesus. Uh, da, 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 da. Four thousand. Those are a hundred apiece, huh? Those are also a hundred apiece. Luga fins. Right, let's look what we got for the most of. Let's start with this.
Okay. Hope I don't need any Lizalfo's stuff. Alright, so I need 551. more than enough. Let's buy the Dark Link series. Ah, a classic. The Dark Hood will cost a 2,000 rupees. Is that okay? Yes. So, the Dark Tunic, I'll give you a special price. It's just like a real store. Ending it in nines, so it doesn't seem like two thousand, a thousand, a thousand. It's under a thousand rupees. Dark trousers. That'll be nine hundred ninety-nine. Thank you much. Would you like anything else? I mean, I could get this hammer. Being struck by it doesn't hurt much, but the fourth swing and the string of attack will send the victim flying. That sounds like fun, but I've actually seen it in action, and yeah, it does launch them. But, um, it's not useful in a fight. It's basically just a silly thing to, to, to launch your enemies. Um, I'm not willing to do that at the moment. So, a whole new thing I need to upgrade now. That looks weird when it's <laughs> you put it on without the other stuff. <laughs> He's cold. Probably wouldn't have had enough to fucking buy that stuff if I hadn't to spend hours, hours, fighting hundreds of Lizalfos to upgrade all my shit. So that's a good thing. And I grinded. So, let's take a look at what this armor says. Crafted with a monster born from the shadows and the eyes, the vault, a spurious replica of the green outfit once worn by a legendary hero. The result of Kilton's research into monsters looks like your average leg wear at first, but these were created based on the image of a monster born of darkness. So the set bonus is night speed up, right? Let's check something real, 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 real quick. I want to see what I need to level this up, if I even can. I mean, I hope I can. It's actually a really cool looking... You could be Dark Link. Everybody can fucking jizz in their pants. Because Dark Link is in the game. You can be Dark Link, and it's not an amiibo... ...outfit. Also, I think this is literally the Dark Link version of the, um... Yeah, it's definitely the Dark Link version of, um, Ocarina of Time Link. Oh, wow, yeah, you're fast. Oh, 
Good, it's gonna thunderstorm. Here I am at your service. Hey, come here again. Let's see your clothes. So you cannot enhance the stuff. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Probably sell this, honestly. It's not going to have better guardian resist than this. And it's not going to have more defense than that. Barbarian. Yeah, let's level this stuff up. And the Sheikah Mask while we're at it. Ooh, actually, no, that takes star fragments. I'll hold off on that. I'll grind star fragments off stream, too. Oh, and you can't un. Oh, God. Boo -doo -doo -boo. Take Lionel Horns, which I have tons of. More Lionel Horns and Lionel Hooves. Yeah, we could do that. So these, I have enough Lionel Guts to level this up. But, I don't know what level 4 entails. Dark Link's not ready for this shit. Oh. You need Dinral's Horn. Okay. Well, I know how to farm him at least. Pretty, pretty easy. Uh, so I'm gonna need six Lionel Guts and three shards. So after this I'll need to fight... Five, six, seven, eight. Eight total. So I'll need to fight five more Lynels. And uh, I'll probably get the hooves in the process. But five more Lynels. Oh. And farm Din Roll one more time. I guess it's a good thing that we um, fought some Lionels earlier. Okay. Oh, oh, you need one of each. Never mind. I guess I don't have to grind. But I do need five Lionel guts. And then I need star fragments and topaz for my amiibo outfits. Goodbye. Let's, let's see here. Let's go to Hateno Village and dye the barbarian armor to something cool looking. Um, and then I think I'll end the stream after that. And then I guess I'll make the decision of whether or not to stream again kind of just like random shit, like doing quests and whatnot, like side quests, 
because there's no story left other than, I guess, well, I guess I could do memories on another stream. We'll do that. Uh, next stream I do is probably going to be devoted to finding all the memories. Oh boy, the shield. Ow. I wanted to break it, though. I meant to do that. I just didn't like the um, notification telling me what to do. <laughs> Welcome. If you're looking to add some color to your wardrobe, you found the right place. Hugh, do you do? Why did he get all defensive? Because I look like a monster to some people. I guess, yeah, I look like... I wonder if I blend in with monsters, actually. Hang on. Hold up. Hold up a... Hang on a tick. What? Oh, it's you. Goodbye. Go on, then. I doubt this will work. These guys are always under attack. Yeah. Let's see how this works. Nice. So it stuns him, makes him drop his weapon? It's pretty cool. Did he hit me with his hand and it did a ton of damage? Is that what just fucking happened? Killing you for fun. Also for the shit you just dropped, because holy fuck. You get a diamond and a ruby in there. Uh. We're hunting our Moses, hunting for truffles, and then wham, monsters out of nowhere. Yeah, always truffle hunting. What? It's just me. The hero. Yeah, they they get spooked by me. Anyway. Let's go to the dye shop. I guess wearing the dark oh, no wonder I did they did so much damage. I'm wearing this shitty outfit. <laughs> I was like, damn, you did like three hearts of damage. Yeah, I'm used to having so much fucking defense. So right now I have nine defense when I usually have around 80. Charge attack stamina up. Yeah, it only takes up half the stamina. Like, usually that takes a whole a full stamina wheel in order to do that. Anyway, let's see if we can't die this to something. I was just about to end the stream real quick. I'm just trying to pick what I should uh, dye this barbarian armor to. Oh, I'll try to guess what it was. The barbarian armor. 
Yeah. So you did all the, all the uh, mazes? Basically. How did you feel about that? I just cheesed it. Me too. Because uh, there's nothing in the maze that's better than what I have. Oh, you mean like you actually... You I just that? went straight to... No, I, uh, Cyan was in the stream and he said, yeah, there's your, all your weapons are better than what you'll find. So don't... Just go straight to the shrine and get the chest that's there and that's basically all you want. Nice. He mentioned like a... Gr like a two-handed flame great sword. I was like, oh, like the one in my inventory? He's like, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, never mind. Just don't even worry about it. Yeah. I had like two or three. <laughs> Maybe white? White or red? <laughs> of course, what I did was I climbed to the top, completely avoided their sight, and cheesed it from there, and found out that if you literally drop down, like it's on the left side of it, mm -hmm. there's just stairs just right there. Yeah. It's just right there. Yeah. The other ones were a little bit more tricky, I think. Eh. I basically went straight to them on both of them. Yeah. Um, did you see the, the um... It looks like the the patterns on the skull, the paint patterns change depending on what color oh. you do. They they don't have all the same pattern. Yeah, I've got it upgraded to three right now. I just need to fight five more Lynels and then I have everything I else. Need to fight five more it's fine. Just, just, buy it. it's just five fine. more. I fought like those three in the field before I went to that. Oh yeah, did you take a picture of the Leviathan there? The skull? Or did you already do that quest? Yeah, I did that quest. Yeah, I did that quest. Oh yeah, I did that quest. Because you have to take a picture of Leviathan. The bones? Leviathan? Leviathan bones. I can't say it. Why can I not say it? I'm drunk. I'm tired. Um, there's bones nearby. Um, you can actually way. see them on the map. Oh, that's cool. Like, yeah, it, um, none of the patterns are the same. On the skull, specifically. The, the, go the skull, yeah. yeah. That's cool. But yeah, there's bones you have to take a picture of. It's the same, uh, there's three of them. This actually there's, makes the, the skull black. There's one in the mountains you were on, the Elder Mountains, the Great Fairy Fountain in Gerudo Desert, and then there's a hidden one I'm going to that's in the um, Gerudo Highland Mountain things. I'll do white. Yeah, let me just use five diamond to make my armor white. I get I have forty of them. Yes, yes, palatable. Gotcha. It's pretty cool looking. I actually like it. Um, so... Yeah, I think that's uh, where we're going to end it for tonight. And um, next stream, I'll be doing... The Remaining Memories, which... Take a look here. I need this one, this one, and this one. So we have three more memories. One of them is in Hyrule Castle. Um, this one looks like it's at the Oasis in Gerudo Desert. I could probably find this on my own. And this one is going to view, view Hyrule Castle. Yeah, we'll just look for those on our own on the next stream. And then, maybe do a couple quests, and then if I'm still up for it, maybe even go to the Hyrule Castle and fuck about. But uh, I'm going to stop the stream. Thank you for coming. Bye-bye.